Welcome to the latest update program. The topic of discussion is From Odisha to Tripura, India's GI Tagged Crafts. Recently, several products have been bestowed with the prestigious geographical indication tag, highlighting their cultural and traditional significance. A geographical indication is a sign used on products that have a specific geographical origin and possess qualities or a reputation that are due to that origin. These GI tags serve as a testament to the rich heritage and craftsmanship inherent in these products, ensuring their protection and recognition both nationally and internationally. These include, first, Katak Rupa Tarakasi, Silver Filigree from Odisha, renowned for its intricate craftsmanship in jewellery making. Archaeological evidence suggests that filigree was incorporated into jewellery as early as 3500 BCE in Mesopotamia, where it is practiced even today as telkari work. Second, Banglar Maslin from West Bengal, one of the popular traditional handloom craft of Bengal. Known for its fine quality cotton threads spun to exceptionally high counts, above 300 counts and up to 600 counts that is higher than any other cotton products. Third, Narsapur Crochet Lace from Andhra Pradesh. Acclaimed for its unique designs and intricate craftsmanship, Narasapur is a strong center for intricate handmade crocheted lace work. Fourth, Ratlam Riyawan Lehsun from Madhya Pradesh, named after Riyawan village, known for its distinct flavor and quality. Fifth, Ambaji White Marble from Gujarat, formed through natural recrystallization under intense pressure and heat. Sixth, Tripura Risa Textile, a traditional tribal attire showcasing indigenous designs and weaving techniques. Seventh, Hyderabad Lark Bangles from Telangana, celebrated for their vibrant colors and intricate lacquer work. Seventh, Assam Majuli Manuscript Painting, illustrating stories and chapters from Hindu epics with intricate paintings. Ninth, Majuli Mask of Assam, reflecting the cultural heritage of Assam with various designs and sizes, mainly divided into different categories. Mukha Bhavana Face Marks Covers the Face, Lotogoi hanging mask, which is bigger in size, extends to the chest. Cho Mukha, huge mask, is a head and body mask. Now is the time to test your knowledge. The question is, the Majuli mask of Assam is mainly divided into which categories? Mukha Bhauna, Lotokoi, Cho Mukha, Rignai, Rutuku, Rissa, Sormani, Telkari, Tapoi, Mukha Bhauna, or none of the above? Send the answer to this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.